anytime any racehorse dies, um, we're concerned about it. The fact that a number of horses died in a short period of time leads us to investigate the possible causes so that we can remedy them and prevent them from happening in the future. In the last 10 years, we've actually reduced the number of fatalities in horse racing in California by half. Um, the concern recently in Santa Anita is that we had uh, a rash of injuries in a short period of time. That leads us to look into the factors that cause those injuries so that we can understand them and prevent them in the future. And these injuries are a result of multiple factors. And while racetrack surface is one factor, there are other factors that affect whether a horse is at high risk for injury. And those factors occur within the previous three to six months of the horse's training and racing career. The concern with medication is that it uh, may mask some pain and allow horses that have mild injuries to continue training and racing. And we know that one of the factors that is associated with a severe injury is continuing to train on a mild injury. And so for that reason, med medication is being scrutinized and should be. We need to recognize that racehorses are elite athletes. And it doesn't matter what elite athlete you are, whether you're a human marathon runner or a baseball pitcher, that because of the repetitive nature and the high level of the activity, uh, injuries uh, can result when the training and competition get too intense. So uh, as any other elite athletes, racehorses can incur injuries. We are doing better at understanding the training and racing related factors that increase risk for injury and are making attempts to reduce those factors.